Talking about faithfulness uh, leads me to say that essentially faithfulness is just a synonym for being trustworthy. Sometimes even in translations of the Bible, the word will be translated faithful or trustworthy, worthy of trust. As far as ministry goes, you need to be trustworthy in several categories. Number one, you need to be trustworthy with the stewardship of the word of God rightly dividing the word of truth, preaching the full counsel of God, accurately interpreting the word of God and applying the word of God. So there's a, there's a trustworthiness in being a steward of scripture. Secondly, you need to be trustworthy in your own life. That, that is to say, you need to live the life that is consistent with the message. Paul puts it this way, take heed to yourself and to your doctrine. And in, as far as ministry goes, there's a third category, a third stewardship that demands faithfulness and trustworthiness, and that is the stewardship of people. As a pastor, you are a shepherd of a flock. God has entrusted you with these people. There's a famous story about a young preacher telling an evangelist that, his congregation was too small, to which the evangelist replied, maybe they're as large as you'd like to give account for in the day of judgment. There is a stewardship of lives and a stewardship of souls, which means there needs to be a certain trustworthiness in care, in providing for those people whatever range of ministry they need to, to make their lives fruitful for the Lord. So just summing it up, there needs to be a trustworthiness with the truth of Scripture, a trustworthiness with your own life, and a trustworthiness exhibited in how you care for the flock of God. That's just basic. It is required of stewards that a man be found faithful, Paul said, or trustworthy. And then he went on to say this. It's a small thing to me that people would evaluate that. He says, you're not the one who's going to make the final judgment. And he even went so far as to say, neither am I, because I even tend to be biased in my own favor. He says, if I find nothing in myself that's wrong, that doesn't justify me. Then he goes on to say, it's the Lord who is the judge, and he will make that judgment someday in the end. He'll bring everything to light, and then shall every man have praise from God. So while people will affirm and hopefully see our trustworthiness, the ultimate test is going to be how the Lord scrutinizes that faithfulness because he's the final judge.